All right, we are now being joined by Carl Albertson. We'll begin with a few questions here in the room. Carl, we're here. Uh, con first of all, congratulations on the victory. What are your initial thoughts after a very competitive fight? Uh, thank you. Right now, I don't think so much. I just feel and I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like shit, honestly. It's a tough fight. I just been puking and peeing blood after the fight, so I don't know. I need to need a day to recuperate and get my thoughts together. Is that more of an adrenaline dump type of situation or are you physically beat up after a fight like that? Uh, I think both. Right now I don't know. Uh, took me, I don't know, I don't know what time it is. Took me a while to get into the shower, so. Well, I know you, you, wanna, you might want to watch the fight again before you have a, a initial thoughts, but in, anywhere during that fight when he, he looked hurt, he looked like he was caught submissions and everything, did you think that he, you had had him finished at all in that fight until he came back? I think I was going to finish him in the second round when I dropped him, but I knew his record before and I knew who he, who he was and I know he came from a loss, so I knew he was hungry and this is a, really a top level fighter. Uh, so I didn't get the finish, but I got a hell of a war instead. Was there any point in there that you were seriously hurt uh, by any of his, what he brought? No, no, I was just tired. And then I think a lot of people um, maybe expect, because we get to talk to you at media day uh, for the people here, we, we thought maybe you would have been the, the person to step up and fight Nemkov because of your previous history. Was mm -hmm. there any conversations with Scott or Bellator that maybe you would get the bump up to the main event before this fight? No. Uh, Anglikas is uh, ranked number five, was ranked number ten, so it just makes logical sense that he gets the offer first and he took it. And then I assume you're going to want some time off to recover after this, so are you hoping to get back in there again? early next year or any other, is there a timetable you have? I don't know right now. I just got a baby at home that so I want to get home to. So I don't know. I need to heal up and recuperate and yeah, go back to the drawing board. Thank you. Hey, Carl, this was obviously a war, man. Was this your toughest fight, would you say? You fought a lot of great guys. Uh, I don't know. Every fight is different, but this was definitely top three toughest fight. Maybe top two, maybe even the toughest. I don't know. <laughs> I need to watch it again. And so, do you have anybody in mind for who you want next? You're just going to be like, I'll take whoever. No, I need to, like I said, I need to get home, recuperate, and get back and take a bird size perspective of the whole thing. All right, rest up, Carl. Congrats. Thank you, brother. All right, we'll take one or two more here. Kobe? Hi, Carl. Great fight. Quite a war. Thank you. Uh, were, you, were you surprised at how well he was able to escape at a full mount? Uh, no, I knew he has, uh, his ground game was maybe not the best, but that was obviously a technique he worked on quite a lot. And he's a really strong fighter and uh, really physical strong. So, yeah, he bumped me off a couple of times, but, uh, hey, that's fighting. And he said it's going to be a while before you want to get back in the cage again. But would you like to fight closer to home? Maybe a, an actual fight in Sweden? Definitely, definitely. All this uh, logistics is, uh, well, it's a whole different matter that you have to solve. And when you're closer to home, everything is more easy. Last one here, Luis. Hi, Carl. Uh, congratulations for your win. I'm Luis from MMA Pit. And tonight, Bellator needed a backup fighter for the main event. You won tonight, and you're a top 10 ranked fighter. Do you think you can be a backup fighter for the final fight of these Grand Prix? Well, you never know. Maybe. Well, it depends on like how I recuperate from this fight. I got a medical suspension, so I need to heal up first. Uh, would you, you train a uh, all-star in Sweden? No, I'm from no. Pankrasium. Okay. But uh, I go, Sp Stockholm is a small town, so we go and spar with each other. Do you run into fighters like Hamzat and, Gu and Gustafsson over there? Like, how is Hamzat received overseas? Because he's very popular here, but we don't really know much about how he's received in Sweden. Well, he's a superstar in Sweden. Yeah. So he's a superstar everywhere he goes. So. <laughs> Thank you. All right, thanks, Carl. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.